Is it an Anatolian Shepherd? I'm sorry. See, if you if you don't have the fucking balls, the testicles, to handle your dog like this. <laughs> good, you good. So look, he hates going on trips, but he loves being on the trip, but he just hates the trip because he always thinks we're gonna, he's gonna end up at a new home. That's why he doesn't want to go, but look. So he might be reluctant to load up, but I'm gonna hopefully, he's reluctant to load up so I can show y'all how to handle it. Come on, Cranberry, for the love of God. Oh, shit. Come on, go close that door, Cranberry. Come on, bud. Get, I got the leash. Fuck. Always fucking up. Ridiculous. Cause you left that thing in the way. Like I told you not to. Come on, man. Oh, no, okay. Listen, we already talked about this. Grab the keys to the van and lock her up, please. Let's go. Man, we talk about these things before we film, believe it or not. Fuck, man. You just have to believe that his mistakes are benefiting us. Because maybe these dogs both could potty. Oh, look, he's trying to hike his leg. It's the first time. Maybe both of these dogs just need me to be a fucking asshole from the beginning. So that they won't fuck up right now. I mean, just gotta believe. Divine time, yeah? But shit, man. It's like his collar, yeah? His mom and him sent the perfect size choke chain for him. Well, cranberry, you use like a throw chain like I told him not to. So now I don't know which one the fuck it is. And the more I use these choke chains around him, the more nervous he gets. Because he hates that sound. Alright. Let's go. Come on. Take Sabo, please. Look at this ridiculous thing. He loves people. Okay? Come on, we're gonna open this up. Oh, suck it, blue cranberry. Good, good, good. All right, babies. Oh, shit, he's making a liar out of me. Oh, shit, he's gonna make a liar out of me, too. Handsome. Look at these oh. big boys, big monsters. Big old beautiful testicles. Oh, man, he's got, he's bleeding from his testicles. We gotta check that out, yeah? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Look at that. We got two monsters in the van. Good, good, good. So, Sambo gets nervous because, you know, as a baby, he was born in the Caucasus Mountains, and then from there, he loaded up, ended up on a plane, then from that plane ended up on another plane. Didn't he make a stop in Italy or something, Cranberry? Like that. Then he ended up in Houston, okay? And then after that, he went to my first place, and from there I moved a week later. Then he went with Cranberry while I was in the transition phase, to Cranberry's place. Then he moved a week later. So every time he loaded up, initially, he ended up in a new place up until he got to Bay Cliff, where we're at now. But he hates it if I take him home and stuff. He hates it. He gets so excited when he comes back because he always feels like he with the lottery. So look right now, he's pouting. So Hank doesn't feel abandoned. Hank is used to these things. So Hank thinks and he knows that his mom and them are coming for him. It's just a matter of time. It's around the corner. He doesn't feel like they're going to be late. He's going to be excited. He expects to be reunited, whereas Savo is thinking more like... Why in the fuck am I leaving? Why am I getting taken away? So Saba was being irrational in this situation, but it's a different kind of irrational. Good, 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 Hank. Handsome. And hopefully Hank to learn at least to lay down. But the reason we wanted to bring Saba was because Saba was very calm around people. You know, if you take the wrong dog out, and, that, and, and even with Esau, okay? Esau loves people and he's very flirtatious, coquettish, but if we take him out, and Hank sees Esau wiggling in front of people, maybe even barking at them because he wants them to love him and hug him. This irrational motherfucker might think Esau's aggressive or scared. He might think that when Esau is wiggling, Esau's not really happy. Esau's scared and nervous. Irrational. So we're going to take all these things into account here, yes? Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. We're in beautiful Galveston. So, I'm gonna... Going to the silence for 21 minutes on that platform. There's a giant dog over there that we're gonna try to walk Hank around. And look, good, good, good. Get ready, Cranberry. I'm gonna take Hank, you're gonna take Savo. Good. And look, we're ready for war, yeah? Good, good, good. Handsome. Lock her up, please. Lock it. You, you can do it this way. You don't have to do all that. Stop doing all that. Fuck. Simple. Shit, he's making the dogs nervous and shit. All right. Good. I need you to walk over here. So over there. So Bobo can interact with people, and I'm gonna walk over here. 
Yeah, let him walk over. Stay away from me. Shit. Social distance. Come on. What the fuck? Over there on the fucking sidewalk like a regular human being. Walk. Fuck. Shit. Ridiculous. We brought Sabo out so that Hank can see how he reacts. It's just ridiculous. Good, good, good. Look, there's that dog. We're gonna go meditate up there, but first we're gonna walk by this dog. If Sabo wants to say hi to him, allow it. If they allow it, but we're not gonna let Hank do it. Listen, walk over here, please. Man, we talked about this beforehand. So look, so watch, watch what I'm gonna do. There's a corgi in that dog. So look, he tried to pull me. See what I did? Good. I put it around my neck, and that made him cower. Now look, heal. Good heal. Good, now, he's not acting bad, but I don't want that. One hand handling. Good heal. Cool. Is that an Anatolian Shepherd? Is that an Anatolian Shepherd? Your big dog, is it an Anatolian Shepherd? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, is that an Anatolian Shepherd? Oh, he's big. How old is he? Beautiful. Good, good, good. See what I did? I'm not fucking around. See, if you, if you don't have the fucking balls, the testicles, to handle your dog like this. Look at Cranberry. Cranberry! What the fuck, Cranberry? God. Come on! Just constantly fucking up. See, I told him specifically, stay around that family. If, if someone wants to say hi to that family, allow it. And then he wanders off. Stay close the fuck to me, please. Every time we're dealing with an aggressive dog, you're out fucking around. Keep walking. Keep fucking walking. Shit. Fucking crap, Jesus. Constantly with that bullshit. Don't you see I'm fighting with the fucking dog? You're over there wandering around. You got a chain around your neck for a reason. Yeah. You're wandering around like a fucking dummy. Why in the fuck weren't you around me? You should have been around me handling, checking this motherfucker too. I don't think he was, dude, you weren't even paying attention. Was he trying to be aggressive or not? You don't even fucking know. Shame on you. Stop looking for fucking UFOs and pay attention. Fuck. Perfect opportunity to handle shit. Don't be like Cranberry. Don't be fucking up when you know better. Good, good, good. You be brave, boy. Come on, come on up. Let's see if you handle this right. No, he's not handling it right. Just walk. Just walk. Keep fucking walking. Shit. Oh, that's a big ass drop. Holy shit. Keep walking, please. Good. Beautiful. Bring him right over here, please. And just chill out right here. Give him a break. Good. Good. All right, there you go. Good. I wish you wouldn't have sat him, but that's okay. All right, so now just relax for a second. Chill. You can sit down and you can stand up. 
whatever you want to do yeah all right i gotta go into silence i'm gonna maybe face this way so this dog will face this way okay so good 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 let me get set up look at that shit oh holy shit hey motherfuckers brave boy fuck i'm nervous i'm more nervous I was, I'm more nervous now than I was around that dog. I don't even think he was trying to fight, but I still checked him because I don't need him trying to drag me. Yeah. His mom was tiny, dude. Yeah, no. She, you know, she'll, he'll knock her right off her feet and she, get, and she wears flip flops. Shit. Good, 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 good. It's such an easy thing to practice. Would I like the good that I ask of them? Yes. Like it for myself or I then ask it for them. Bring them before your mind's eye and dare to assume that what you are seeing in your mind's eye is true. Now there is a definite technique to it. A simple, simple technique. If I can share with you what I do, and it works, I bring them into my mind's eye and I work myself up into an emotional state. It's like a peculiar rhythm. I breathe in and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out and suddenly I reach a certain point and then one deep inhalation as though I'm setting it up in a time exposure before my own mind. I set it up and all of a sudden I have a deep, deep inhalation and every pore of my being explodes and then I do nothing beyond that. It's taking that scene and setting it up in a time explosion before the eternal event and then I explode it and then let life develop it and life develops it 21 minutes good 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 awesome huh all right beautiful cat all right damn it awesome huh all right let me take this thing off I can't stress to you all how important it is to be silent around your dog. If you don't know what your dog is thinking, shut the fuck up. Again, do you know what he's thinking? Yeah. Then why are you petting him? If he's nervous, I don't know if this dog is nervous or not, and I own him. Do you know? Is he nervous? Do you know? Then petting him is a mistake if you don't know. Good, 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 Hank. Shit. All right. Walk him, please. Just walk him. Normal, don't fucking break, don't hesitate. Good, good, good. Oh no! Come on, the decision! So frustrating! Jesus Christ! Look at the difference in steps. Like, you would just have sense to not want to go down those. This poor dog. Good, 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 Hank. All right, Cranberry, I'm tired of yelling at you, shit. Please be normal, like a normal human being. Come on, start walking that way, please. Walk as if you were a normal human along the normal area. Okay, turn this way. Come this way, please. There you go. Keep walking. There you go, buddy. Good, 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 Hank. Good. Hey, awesome, huh? He's tired. Give him some slack for the love of God. You want to be around with daddy, huh? All right. Good, good, good. Here, let me have both of them. All right, sorry. Come on, my love. Fuck. Get ready to throw that fucking chain at this dog if he reacts. They just both want to be with me. Fuck. See, me not talking to them, not petting them at the wrong times makes them have faith in me. That's why I fuss at Cranberry so much about shit. So important, these things. 
and you're dealing with an aggressive dog. This dog comes from aggressive. He's an Ochaka, look it up there. Considered a dangerous dog in a lot of countries. He comes from family, mom and dad that are hot. Red zone, aggressive to strangers, aggressive litter mates. And he, look how he is. Beautiful. Cranberry, hold this please. Get ready to use that chain. Don't be, I'm, you keep scanning for fucking UFOs. Right now is not UFO time, bud. Right now is not the time to be looking for fucking UFOs. Good, good, good. I'm looking for dogs. I want to encounter people and dogs and shit like that. Oh no, this motherfucker. It's okay. He's a dog. It's about the rain. Managing these two. Get ready. Stay close to me and get ready. If he reacts, you gotta toss that fucking chain. Cause I got two dogs on me. And you see how I'm not making them do anything? Not until he reacts and acts stupid. Otherwise, I'm gonna be calm. I'm gonna take them down that. This time to the sound is sound really fast. Just kind of waiting around, yeah? Let's wait for her to pass us by. Why don't you walk in between us? Oh, damn it, Hank. This dog loves being on the edge. Hey, dude. He loves living on the edge, this dog. I'm more nervous about the edge than he is. He don't even give a damn about the edge. And he didn't even react at all, not even a little bit. This motherfucker likes the edge. This motherfucker likes the edge. He living on the edge. Good, good, good. All right. Look at the difference, you see? Watch out. Oh, there you go. It's okay. This motherfucker right here. But you see how I didn't handle it the way Cranberry did? I just fucking went for it. Good potty, Papa. All right, Kermit, now I need you to take the lion, the bay cliff. The what? I need you to take the Okay. Please, thank you. Good potty, my love. These beaches aren't as beautiful as Florida, but fuck, that's what we got. And beautiful enough for me. Cranberry, come with please. Come hither. <clears throat> it's gonna be a beautiful walk. Just a boy and his dog. Just a blue collar worker with a red zone dog at his side. Handsome. Ooh, cool. Look at that. Interesting smell. Hello. Oh. What kind of shit is that? Oh shit. Let's see if he likes the water. It's a mad river bull. Mad river bull loves water. Man, he don't give a fuck about people, Cranberry. Look. I don't give a fuck about the water neither. It's a mad river bull. I'm the mad dog training mystic from Baycliffe. Got the fucking mad lion. Cowardly motherfucker. That's okay, I don't want him to get wet. He's a lot of work. Don't force him, it's okay, shit. Normally I would fate force him, but that's a lot of money right there in grooming. But stay close to the water. Awesome, huh? Beautiful, huh, Bubba? Good shit, huh? Good life, Bubba. A good life, Hank. Living that fun, good life. Should I make Sabo get in here? Probably should, huh? Want to see how I would handle that? Man, that's disorienting. Dude, that's disorienting. When I'm standing right there, the way the, when the water comes up on the shore, yeah. it's disorienting. I almost got fucking nauseous, that's weird. 
disorienting. All right, bud. So we start making trek back because there's not a lot of shit going on. We've been out here a long ass time. Time to get back to my babies. He's doing good, this dog. Huh, can Barry? That is, those ladies want to pet Sabo, it'll be a blessing. Thank for watch. The only thing is finding people that are interested in petting your big monster looking dog. Come on, go quick, go quick, go quick. Good potty, love. I'm gonna manipulate the situation, okay? I would like for one person to pet my dog. Good, good. So I'm holding him back. Cranberry, go to the right, buddy. Why do you stop? Jesus Christ. All right. This is what I didn't want to be in this situation. Good. Good, Hank. Oh, be friendly. Good, good, good. Good, Hank. Right behind you, ladies. He's friendly. He loves people. Good, good, good. Yeah. Man, no reactions, Cranberry. Wow. The only thing that made him react was that dog, and I don't even know that he was being mean. I just had to check him like I told his mom. I feel like I need to punish your dog today. I need to punish him. Every situation I put him in, I never get the opportunity to punish him. But finally, I punished him, Cranberry. I punished him, Cranberry. I punished the shit out of him. Oh my God. That's gonna be so hard to watch for some people, Cranberry. Woo! Look at the bike rider. All right, Cranberry. Load my boy up. Load him up. Or, or stop right there, please, actually. Yeah, all right, get ahead. Open it up. Load him up. Good, 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 Hank. Awesome. Good hand. Oh. Yeah, I'm not making him do shit. The Mad River Bull. Good, good, good. The Mad River Bull. The Mad Zen Lion from Baycliff. And the Mad Mystic Dog Trainer. Erwin Valderamos, yeah? Thank you all so much for watching, especially since you stuck around until the very end. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Call that bell so you'll be notified the next time we come out and mystify the world, yes? Good, 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 good. So be angry, but sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed. But when they do it, they are intense in the doing. If you are lukewarm, you're told in scripture, I'll spew you out. Would that you're either hot or cold, but because that you are lukewarm, I will spew you out. You can't do anything if you're lukewarm. You must be intense about it. No matter what you want, but you must be intense about it. Now let us go into the silence. <laughs>